This is the biogas plant about 200 meters behind the Kumbango palm oil refinery. Beside these generators lie a massive dome filled with methane gas, the source that fuels electricity for NB Pole. Fully functional, it produces about 30% of electricity supply to the Kimbet Township. West New Britain province is literally run on the back of the oil palm industry. But General Manager Harry Brock said, though the industry has seen significant growth, 2012 saw heavy rainfalls which affected production, particularly roads and bridges. <clears throat> Much of our tax credit is spent on emergency repair work every year just to gain access to many parts of the province. Whilst this is not to the liking of our governor, who uh, would like to see tax credit money being spent in more community, area, community projects, um, I do feel that we cannot underestimate the importance of good, solid infrastructure in the form of roads and bridges to gain mobility around the province for the whole community. This was further compounded by fall in palm oil volumes, inflationary effect of the Kina, and the fall in palm oil prices, which has culminated in 2012 profits before tax at 81.6 million US dollars, less than half its 2011 profit. NB Pole owns a 77,000 plus hectare industry producing over 450,000 tons of crude, palm kernel, and refined oils annually. Over 10,000 staff are employed, with more than 80% of them being locals. NB Pole has become more than just an agro-industrial company, an important partner in development, providing financial assistance to the provincial government through the tax credit scheme. During his visit, an impressed Minister Abel said the government needed to invest more in the agro-industry sector. We've got a strategic development plan review underway and we want to bring it back to sustainability, that question of real sustainability, which to me is based on the agriculture sector and the fisheries sector and um, the whole biodiversity and, uh, and the green economy that we should be investing in. He said they will be looking into reviewing existing arrangements such as the tax credit scheme. Percentages could be increased to cater for more social and community-based interventions. Cedric Pajole, National MTV News.